What up, Laker Nation? You hit your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. I was on my way out, man. But shout out to my man, Money Back. Yo, he said, "Look at my wrist. I got time today." My boy said, "He got time today." So I got some time today, man. Right before I go out and and, and, and do my thing in, in New York City, how I do. But now I'm gonna get to this 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 dude, Weezy Bang. Weezy Bang, let me, I'm, 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 I'm break you down in different parts. Expose this dude, man, he's a fraud. Um, first and foremost, when I did the video about the Kobe Bryant, I'm like, damn, I ain't think he was that type of dude. I ain't see him doing nothing like that. I said, I don't, I don't think he's that type of guy. He seemed I type of dude, but it, it shocked me, and I made a video on this, this dude, just saying like, come on, man, he was out of pocket for that, man. You speaking on the dead, that man dead. That was a real bad night, man. Day. Early in the morning, that man took his daughter and, and, and other uh parents with their kids, little daughters and stuff. Nine people on the plane all died. Tragedy just two years ago. Not even long, just two years ago. And we call this man a rat and don't even have all the facts and all this stuff there. I felt he was out of pocket. So I said what I said. Then he comes on on his joint right after that. I didn't disrespect him. I didn't disrespect him. I said what I said. Then he come on his his joint. Oh, now he ain't. Oh, this buck tooth. Um, take the the booty out your. Uh, take the panties out your booty and all this weird shit. Oh, what you a, a fag? You you want to see see how I look? Number one, I don't want to see how you look. I said, I'm don't beef with people. I don't know how they look. That's just what it is. I don't beef with motherfuckers. I don't know how they look. But. You know your boy. I'm I'm back chilling. I mean, I looked on my train. Someone sent me a picture of you. I was like, man, this 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 clown, this clown. I'm like, how the fuck this dude get a haircut? He don't have no neck. Bang don't even have no neck. How the fuck they cut the back of his hair when he get a haircut? And he looks. And he always. Let me tell you something about this dude. He always talk funny money shit. Him and his boy Critic always they always talk this weird booty in the butt, calling people uh the the the, the G word and all this stuff there. And they always question. And I looked at that picture. I don't want to put the picture up, cause if I put the picture up, these dudes talk all that talk, but they'd be the first one to go tell YouTube and want to talk about somebody else snitching. They'd be the first one to tell YouTube to try to get get somebody page taken down. So. I know these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I know these dudes, man. And that's just why I put his picture up. But I look, I said, this is why he always talking some booty in the butt. What men talk like that? And his picture is like this. Had that little, I said, he, he's sick, man. This dude is sick. And, and, and let me tell you something, right? This dude, he, he not was it. When he was talking about Kobe, it wasn't aimed towards me because I don't talk about Kobe on my page. So nobody can never sit there and say I'm a Kobe Stan or Kobe Mike, whatever nonsense this dude be talking. You know what I mean? It was for Ticket TV he said that. See, he's Ticket TV's son. Let me give you a little background on a Wheezy Bang. A Wheezy Bang used to always go on Ticket TV channel, and he didn't like what Ticket TV used to say. He always wanted to get on there and talk to Ticket. He's a big fan of Ticket TV. He took Ticket TV whole style, and he that's Ticket TV's son. He took his whole style, and, and he tried to um, run with it. Instead of he going at LeBron, he sides with LeBron. He was trying to make a living off this. This guy, he sit there every day on his channel, bag. He's he's a, he's a bag, man. He bag every day for, for, for donations and, and cash apps and things like that. He's a clown. Begging for donations every day. You ain't giving that money to nobody. Stop fooling somebody. Nobody fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he, um, like I said, what do Ticket and LeBron got in common? See, Bang quit always talk about booty in the butt and, and, and weird shit like that. No real men talk like that. No real men. When we, when we address each other, we dress each other, and that's that. Nobody will be calling nobody, oh, you're a rainbow and all this stuff there, booty in the butt, get your booty, no weird shit like that. No, no real dude, real niggas talk like that. But this dude, he loves that. And see, what, what, what Ticket and LeBron got in common, bang like 6'8 dudes. Bang like 6'8 dudes. LeBron and, and, and Ticket the same height. 
So he infatuated with these guys. He made his whole channel because he cried because he couldn't get on Ticket Channel. And he so he figured out he'd make a channel. And he took Ticket whole style, but this in, in, a, in a different way to try to tweak it some. Like, come on. And then talk about he made people channels. You ain't make nobody channels. I ain't seen not one person on YouTube channel you made. You got the bullshit songs, the records. You're a cornball. This dude's a straight cornball. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Bucktooth dude. Tech, hey, I'm Bucktooth. I, I, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm good. You don't got no neck, my man. Fuck is you talking about? This dude's a straight clown. And the difference is, see, and I saw someone on, on credit joint said Kareem is, is like a double agent, basically be playing both sides. Not that I play both sides. Number one, I told you dudes from the beginning. This YouTube shit is what it is. YouTube shit. Whatever problems this person, that person got, I don't got nothing to do with that. I I, I listen to all. All. Sometimes tickets say stuff I don't like. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I listen to everybody joint support them. Because at the end of the day, I see a lot of these dudes looking for, um, they looking for this as a, a come up. So they will say anything. Bang don't know shit about basketball. Bang, let me tell you something about Bang, man. I was on, man, Bang was on Sports Critic uh, channel. And someone said, yo, I, yo, I fucks with both of y'all. I give y'all $100 for y'all to debate. This motherfucker thirsty as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's debate. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. I said, nah, nah, I don't do that. I don't debate. That's not my thing. And, I, and, and to be honest, I felt assaulted. Like, do I look like a $100 nigga? Do the fuck I look like a hundred dollar nigga? Do something that that's not my thing, but I'ma jump and run for a hundred dollars. That's why I think Bang had a little little disdain for me. He mad that I didn't take that hundred dollars. He needed that hundred dollars. He mad. So he low key was semi hating on me. You know what I'm saying? Talk about oh this and that. Like come on, I didn't disrespect him. He came at me because like I said, he wanted he always wanted to come at me. And I gave him a reason to come at me. And then people talk about why you ain't go to him behind the scenes. Who the fuck is him to go behind the scenes? Man, him don't rock like that where I got his number one. We, we locked in like that to go behind the scenes. I ain't disrespect him. Fuck, I'm going behind the scenes. And, and yo, I don't like that what you said about Kobe. Man, listen, I ain't doing that shit. Them clowns do that shit. And let me tell you something, man. And he took, well, oh, dude's hating on his channel. Let me tell you this, man. Bang don't know shit about basketball. Bang don't know shit about basketball. He said yesterday, you know what this motherfucker said? He said, first he said, the Lakers going to win back-to-back -back champions. I'm telling you, he dead serious. I'm telling you, the Lakers going to win back-to-back -back championship. I'm telling you, they're going to win back-to-back. -back. They're going to have um, Terry Rozier. They're going to have um, Kelly Oubre, Zach Levine, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James. They're going to win back-to-back. -back. Like, how the fuck that going to happen? See, the difference between my channel and your channel, see, it's not all about numbers. I'd rather have a hundred people that rocks with me than a thousand people who do subscribe. See, it's a difference. It's a difference. It's a difference. I couldn't get away with that dumb shit on my channel. I couldn't get away and say, oh, this going to be our team. People be like, yo, 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 Rain, stop, stop with this 2K shit. I couldn't do that because people who are on my channel, the real ones, they real knowledgeable. And they don't kiss my ass. That's the difference. They don't kiss my ass. They not going to let me get away with that bullshit. They're going to be like, hell no, that's not going to happen. They're going to call me on my shit. And that's what I like. I don't have flunkies. I do not have flunkies. I'm seeing a lot of dudes and a lot of people who I thought was all right with me flip the script on me. I ain't going to sit there and go into who. But came at me sour. Like, as soon as somebody come at sour, as soon as somebody else come back, oh, no, why are you doing that? You coming... At this person like that, that's I ain't going to, I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to cut it there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to cut it there. He infatuated with Ticket TV. And I, and I always said, and, 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 and sports critics said it. Sports critics said, yo, uh, Kareem, I support you and everything, but when you said Ticket TV, you like Ticket TV and Carcino, you watch that shit, you lost me with that one. Like, let me tell you the difference is Ticket TV know about basketball. That's one thing. He know the game. He know the game. Y'all might not like what he said about LeBron, but outside of that, he know the game. Man, him could have a, 
a, a real dialogue about basketball. He wouldn't say no dumb shit about the next year the Laker team would have Zach Levine, um, Kelly Oubre, Terry Rozier, and uh, Braun and AD. He would never say no dumb shit like that. He would never say no dumb shit like that. And, and, and he and, and the people agreeing with this shit. I say ain't nobody call this man out on this dumb shit and, and let him get away with that shit. They don't know shit about basketball. And when LeBron retire, he already said he going to make him a Chicago Bears channel. He ain't going to have nothing else to talk about. He going to make him a Chicago Bears channel. And I always told you dudes from day one, the first thing when somebody come talk numbers, they don't know about basketball. He always stacks his facts, stacks his facts. Like, he go in and, and dig up stats. LeBron always going to be in arguments when you come to, to us stats. LeBron James is a beast. I never took anything away from LeBron James. Never. Never. And people say, oh, Kobe, he mad. See, the thing is, he thirsty. Let me tell you how thirsty he assess with LeBron James and assess with Ticket TV. He said, oh, I already done cooked everybody else. I done cooked everybody else. I can't wait. I only, only one person I want to see. And he talked about Ticket TV. He mad that Ticket not showing him no attention. Ticket ain't giving him a time a day. He mad. He want to debate Ticket all day. Like, he want to sit there and talk, yo, you give me, you give me funny vibes. You want to get on camera and, and talk, well, you don't show your face, but you want to get on the computer and, and yell and argue with another man for two or three hours. That's, that's his whole thing. He likes to argue. What man do that? What man do that? You looking forward to a debate. I'm going to say an argument with, with Ticket TV. You're looking forward to that. He ain't giving you a time of day. He see what type of dude you is. I already cooked that by else. Uh, and people keep telling me, Kareem, go up there. Go up there for what? He don't, he, don't, he don't show his face. He don't know nothing about basketball. What the fuck I'm debating him about? It's clearly, let me tell you something like this. On my channel, you learn shit. My channel, go back, you learn shit. Man, Elder Drop Jews, behind the scenes, how things um, come about. That's why I don't be reporting on shit. And, and everybody, oh, he report, oh, you, you heard of Mark Stein? I, I reference ESPN. ESPN, listen, I'm going to break that shit down to you guys too, man. That Just because ESPN say something, that, that's not gold, especially right now. You think the Charlotte Hornets, they um, getting prepared to, and for a play-in game, you think they really worrying about um, the, the roster in the summer, they trying to win. You think they're going to be really talking about um, guys that's on their team that's effective guys, guys like Terry Rozier and Kelly Oubre? And then Mark Stein came right back because he, he see he got a lot of traction with that. These guys do the same thing you niggas do. The same shit. They have to build stories. He look, look at the salary match and, and look at the landscape of the team. Oh, oh, Malcolm Brogdon and... And Buddy Hill for Russell Westbrook. They know y'all eating that shit up. I reference ESPN. Like, come on, I got a real source. They don't, y'all don't hear me come no dumb shit right now. The season not even over. Nobody talking no trades and none of this shit right now. Mark Steinstein is captain. He making that shit up. I don't follow trends and report no nonsense like that. He's sitting there talking, oh, we're going to get Terry Rose here. We're going to get, um, Kelly Oubre for Russ, and then we're going to get uh, Zach Levine in the sign and trade. Like, like, shut up. This motherfucker dumb as bricks. Talking that dumb shit. His whole joint, his whole channel and stuff built on arguing, yelling, and doing all that for what? That's his whole channel. My thing, I try to educate you, educate you guys on, on shit. That's all I tried to do. give y'all behind the scenes, give y'all some knowledge and shit I know. You got 19-year-old dudes speaking on shit that they don't know what the fuck they talking about. Speaking on shit in 94, and they was full fucking still drinking Similac. Like, stop it. Still drinking Similac and, 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 and talking like what they word is born. So it's something they read. People misquote, people do this shit in the media all the time. My son is, um, is a writer and stuff. You people can write what the fuck they want. Long as it's inbounds where you not lying on nobody and you putting things like that or some shit, that's just what it is. And then with Kobe, then he played the video, talked about, oh, Kobe Bryant, look what Kobe said. Kobe said it got blown out of proportion. It wasn't like that. They ain't hear none of that shit because what happened was the, the agents and them was talking to Kobe and 
and um, he didn't realize how they was playing them. And he and they the agent said, like Shaq, he said, yeah, we all do it. He said, everybody. You see, Shaq um, forgave him, and Shaq was like this after that. Niggas, you know, ain't talking, he snitched on him. Like, come on, y'all don't even know the real, real content and with the real um, spill behind that. He's a snitch. And then the thing that killed me, a lot of them dudes on the panel, yeah, he a snitch. Y'all, y'all dudes ain't built like that. Y'all get in some handcuffs. Y'all, y'all telling on, on, on the ride to the precinct. That shit killed me. I always, that always bothered me when dudes who not qualified to talk about some real shit to be sit there and, and quit the one say, oh, snitch this, snitch that. It's like a lot of people, oh, I'll pose a rap, but wouldn't say it in his face or different things like that. Who ain't qualified to say nothing. Everybody not qualified to say everything, man. Sometimes learn to shut the fuck up. Everything ain't for everybody. You can't speak on shit if you ain't built like that. Oh, he, oh, Kobe is snitch. Oh, it's facts. It's facts. It's snitch. Like, I'm, I'm talking about his panel. I ain't even talking about him right th this second. I ain't even talking about him right this second. Guys on his panel, oh, he's snitch. And some people ain't even built like that. I ain't gonna say every last one. I don't know them niggas. Motherfuckers still drinking Similac and shit when that time and stuff occurred. Wasn't even fucking probably barely fucking walking. Still falling out the motherfucking crib. Fucking still have to get burnt and shit. Talk about some Kobe Bryant. Like, fucking stop it. Dumb shit. He assessed what Ticket TV, man. That dude, Bang, is obsessed with Ticket TV. He looked forward to arguing. And th those female tendencies right there. He want to argue with another man. But how, how can a woman respect him? He sits, sits, sits all day for hours capping for another man. A man that he's older than. He's older than LeBron James. He capping for him like that. How? I cannot sit there and be going like that for somebody I don't know. LeBron James will walk right by his dumb ass. They don't know little LeBron James. LeBron, they only want to know you. Little dusty motherfucker. Oh, Captain Four. Oh, he, yeah, he number one in the snap. King James, number two in the snap, the third. He, then, yeah, I'm ready. Like, James, I ain't debating you. What fuck I'm debating you for? My nigga, I don't do that. You, down be, you think I got time two hours to be arguing? Okay, Michael Jordan is this, that. I don't got time to fuck about Michael Jordan. I don't give a fuck about LeBron James. I don't fuck about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk sports. We're going to talk team. We're going to talk building. That's what we talk about, man. Motherfuckers getting killed left and right in every city. Every city. That's real shit that I like to talk about. School young dudes on and shit like that. We sitting there arguing about no motherfucking man all day. Like, that's, that, that's bitch Tennessee's. And, and you and your man quit the O and call somebody rainbow. And let me tell y'all this. And this is how stupid a lot of you, you motherfuckers is. Now... This hot, and y'all want to sit there and talk, oh, Kobe is snitch. Let me tell you the difference between me and you niggas. Now, Loyalty Films was supporting him. He, he was subscribed to Bang. He hit the like button, come up there and talk his talk with Bang. He went up there. Bang broke ass. Let somebody pay him $20 to kick Loyalty off the panel. $20. He got brought for $20. Y'all should have saw that be like, Damn, what type of time you on? He, he would have did that to any one of you niggas. He would have did that to any one of you niggas. And you want to use screws? No, he using bad takes. You know what I mean, motherfuckers? You use bad takes, motherfucker. Oh, he used bad takes. That's why I did it. It ain't had nothing to do with it. That's what they had all do things to do with that money. You wanted that money. You were so fucking happy. You told dude, do not put in the Super Chat Cash app. You need all that. You ain't want no $17 that, that YouTube takes. The, the $3. You wanted all that money. Thirsty motherfucker. You a thirst basket. And ain't no nigga buy me like that. You know what I mean, motherfuckers, your career. I don't really like fucking with your channel, but you know what I mean? You got to get Tom off there. Listen, Tom ain't do nothing to me, man. Tom support my channel. It's down the third. Listen, we're going to try to work it through. Long seat state stuff that's in balance. We good. Niggas don't buy me. What's wrong with you? You sick. Sick motherfucker. See, that's the difference. He, that's what's wrong with people in this world. Y'all see the niggas like that who talk rah 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 loud loud. Y'all think them that's them niggas. Oh, that's that nigga there. And then y'all be like, oh, see, Kareem quiet. Kareem laid back. You know, Kareem laid back. His channel is no drama and stuff like that. He ain't with all that. You know what I mean? Which I'm not. 
I ain't with all that rah rah. That, that's clown shit to me. And I wasn't going to do it. My boy told me, my boy said, Rain, don't even go back and forth. But like I said, I, I have a little time today before I step out and do me. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 got, I got to dress this clown because I didn't disrespect him. And he disrespected me right afterwards. He's a, he's a clown, man. And that's the problem. See, that's why dudes like that fool women and fool niggas all the time. He he go to a woman with that bullshit five dollar game, talk loud and, and all aggressive and shit, and, and and they think that's that nigga. And you got a dude like me in a cut, just chilling, sit, sipping on something nice, you know, and in, in, in a club just sipping on something ain't ain't with all that rah rah shit. Y'all bypassing a nigga like me think oh he 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 funny, but then your dumb ass get pregnant. And then you'd be like, man, what the fuck I done did? Don't say what you fuck you did now, bitch. You four months pregnant. It is what it is. You four months pregnant. You got to deal with this clown now. It's just about making choices, man. Y'all got to know the difference between the real and the fake. This is not no about no LeBron and Kobe. That's why I said, you young niggas, y'all come jump on. Oh, no, everything is facts and stats. How the fuck everything facts and stats? Facts is st stats is facts. That's his fake. That's a dumbass slogan. So you may tell me everybody, every player who got whoever got the best numbers, that means they they better than the next player. No, he don't know shit about basketball. And he got a flunkies. I, I, I sports critic. Hey Kareem, yeah, loyalty films. He is gay. You fucking with films. I can't fuck with you no more, Kareem. I'm from Northeast Ohio, Kareem. You fucking with him, Kareem? I ain't fucking with you, Kareem. Fuck that. You guys. They ain't gonna, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, critic. Yeah, we from Northeast Ohio. Dark Vader and shit. This other nigga, Blue Boat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, stop it. That's his crew. He went to our stats, his facts, like that, that's Bane Crew. Y'all want to hear a story about, man, come on, let me go into um, the story of Blue Bolt. Now, I'm just going to be all the way 100 right here. Blue Bolt is a nigga I'm scared of. I don't want no problem with Blue Bolt. Let me give y'all the background of Blue Bolt. I did my little research, right? I got a little time, right? I did my little research, right? So I'm like, who the fuck is this Blue Bolt nigga? So I went and, and did my research. I'm like, oh my God, see his rap sheet. So I interview his psychiatrist, right? His the psychiatrist's name is Dr. Slotnick. Now, Blue Bolt is 71 years old, right? Let me give y'all some background on Blue Bolt. Blue Bolt is 71 years old. He's six foot four, 220 pounds, and cut the fuck up. He's cut up. He's ripped up. This man is ripped up. He had a 54-inch vertical. He he one of, the, one, one, of, one of the most fastest men in the world. He beat Carl Lewis in the race, but he wasn't qualified because he was so goddamn loony. And and he um also is a 13-degree black belt. He's a vicious motherfucker. And see, y'all don't know. Like I said, he's he's old. But he look I, I give Blue Bolt credit, man. Blue Bolt, you look good for your age. Listen to Blue Bolt. And the only reason I'm talking a little shit about Blue Bolt, because I feel a little comfortable, because, like I said, I'm, I'm scared to death of this man. Blue Bolt, if, listen. <sighs> I feel comfortable talking about Blue Bolt, because Blue Bolt is on lifetime house arrest for his crimes. He's been this man been committing crimes. Listen, let me tell you something about Blue Bolt, man. Blue Bolt started at the age of one years old when he first started walking. He starts stomping and killing all the roaches and stuff in his house and then collecting them and putting them all in a jar at the age of one. And then when he got like five, he started catching flies. His hands is fast. Blue Bolt got some fast hands catching the flies like that and killing them. Like, you know what I mean? And, and he collect flies at the age of five. Then when he got a little older, I think, what he about, like 13? Let me see the report. I think he's like thir 13 years old. And then he, he started killing um deers and shit. He started killing them and killing cats all around the city. So in the city of, in the northeast Ohio, they was wondering why all these fucking cats coming up dead. And they all from strangulation. Blue Bolt go-to move is the stranglehold. This man could kill you to strangling you. 
this man is a vicious man. He's so far, he, he comes out at night. You know what I mean? The freaks come out at night. This man comes out at night, man. He ain't no motherfucking joke, man. Dr. Slotnick said, yo, this man is nothing to be fucked with. And then you got, that's why, why you think Bang and Sports Critic talk so much shit? They fucking with this nigga. Blue Boat. They know they got his, his back. But see, people don't know that Blue Boat, and like I said, him and Sports Critic is on lifetime house arrest. Now, let me give y'all a little rundown on Sports Critic. Sports Critic is 57 years old. Sports Critic is, is more shorter, but he's real thick, and he got a hairy ass back like the, the uh, werewolf. He's like a werewolf. He had these long uh, freaking nails. Blue Boat and Sports Critic met each other in, in the prisons in, in Ohio, in the state prison in Ohio. Blue Boat uh, did like about 40 years. He, he went to jail in 1978. He just came home in like 2019. Um, he, he did a lot of times, like, um, he been in jail for a long time and sports critic did jail a, a long time too, but see critic, he went to jail. He's a professional arsonist for no damn reason. He's going around, um, setting everybody house on fire and they just wonder where the fuck all these fires, how did everybody house getting on fire? And then his dumb ass got caught in Indiana. He start he went over there setting fires and, and an old lady, uh, a 91 year old lady seeing him and, and she called. Actually, she was already on the phone because um her life lock or some shit. She was on the phone and she said, "Yo, I see some man." And they caught him. He 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 did like about twenty thirty. Huh? Let me see how long times uh credit did credit. They did about thirty years too. They met in jail, and the thing was they uh blue book never had no friends growing up. Never. He's a solo act. He never communicate. Doctor Slotnick told me he never communicate with nobody. Never. This man never communicate with nobody. So now he found the friend and critic. Right? So now they in jail, but they become bunkies. And, and they was like, oh, we cannot have these two dudes in cell. This dude, they all type crime. They finding bodies everywhere with, with, with critic. I mean, what uh, Blue Boat was doing. Blue Boat is, is a motherfucker. He traveled by foot. He will go to another state. Everything he do is by foot. Like, if he was to come to try to come at me, he would leave North Ohio and he'd travel by foot. He's fast. He, like I said, one of the fastest men in the world. And he had a highly potential. He did the travel on. He, he did a lot of different things, but he's just so goddamn crazy and so goddamn violent that he never fulfilled his potential. You know what I'm saying? And he, what, what y'all think of Dark Vader come from? Blue, let me tell you something about Blue Boat. Blue Boat could have be a multi-millionaire right now. The movie and the um, character Darth Vader was expired by Blue Boat. Y'all hear his voice? They couldn't believe it. Like, they used his voice everything. When they used his voice, he was um, three years old. They couldn't believe a three-year-old talk like that. They said, you hear it? Y'all hear how he talk. I can't even do it. But back to uh, Blue Boat, right? This man just got a... Uh, uh, thing for violence. He just don't want to do right. So, he could have did so much. Like I said, he got a 54-inch vertical. He's super fast. He he lightning quick. And he, The Undertaker, he took his move to Chokehold. The, ch the Undertaker did research. He was a big fan of Blue Bolt. And he uh, did a lot of research on Blue Bolt. That's why The Undertaker and Kane start doing the uh, Chokehold. You know, that that's his go-to move. He kill you in many ways, but that just one of his, his go-to moves. And also, um, Dr. Slotnick said, he said, yo, we had, a, we had a great interview. I mean, a great interview. It was fascinating, right? And oh, like I said, only reason I'm talking my shit right now because them, they got on a lifetime house rest. Blue Boat, I don't give a fuck about sports credit. Uh, but Blue Boat is that guy. Now, now this, right? These guys met in jail and they was about to say, oh, no, they, they can't be in the cellies together. Cause they too dangerous. Well, he dangerous for us setting arsenals, but this other guy is next level dangerous. Like Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, Ted Bundy, he, I, they got nothing on him. You know what I mean? When he got arrested in 1978, they had to call the National Guards to come get this man. This man was beating up everybody. See, he didn't have, and see, they had people who were recording it, so they couldn't shoot him. So he was literally destroying, he, he already, let me see, let me see. 
57 cops in critical condition fucking with this man in 1978. They had to use gas, the um, gas, all type stuff, um, um, stun guns, all type stuff to try to get him down. It took a long time for the get it, it was front page in, in Northeast Ohio. I'm like, damn, it's a bad motherfucker here. You know what I'm saying? I would have liked to meet him. But he told me, no, nah, no, nah, you don't want to meet this guy. He don't like people. You know what I'm saying? And it's the most interaction he's doing. So now they were evaluating him. Now they feel he's getting a little better. It's the most he talking and stuff he ever doing. So now Blue Bolt, I was like, damn. They become sellies. So now they've selling nine days and it's about to move, remove them from being sellies. And then Dr. Slotnick said, no, no, no. This is good. This man never talked to nobody. Now they become friends. They did a lot of time together. So they cooked together and, you know, did things like that. They, I, I get them this. They both was model citizens. They both. You know what I mean? Early in, um, um, you know, sports credit bid, he was setting, like, beds and shit on fire and just doing stuff like that. But then when them two got together in a cell, they was quiet. They ain't really bothering nobody. They did their time. They enjoyed each other. And the first time they had to, they had to, don't you know, they had to go to President Ronald Reagan to put a, a camera and a, a, a listening device into their cell. That's illegal. But these guys is dangerous. To make sure they in cell, they don't know what these guys was plotting. So they, when they went out to, um, when they went out to get their evaluations to, to take their medicine, because they, they both was on, on medication and stuff like that. So when they went out to medication, they installed cameras and listening device inside their rooms to see and hear what they're talking about. So, but they, they, they was good. I ain't gonna lie, they was good. They enjoy each other company. They, they like this. They locked in that they BFF and things like that. So I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And then this will get me mad with Bang. Bang always talk about stats as facts. But he run around, got two psychopaths running with him, and look at their criminal history. Look at these guys' criminal history. These guys' criminal history date date back. This critic is 57, blue boat 71, 74 years old. And and so I, I so when I about the end and about Dr. Slotnick, so I said, um, damn, that gotta be tough. They can't leave. He said, no, no, they leave once a year. They on lifetime house arrest, but they leave their house once a year. They get uh, national guards and everything to take both of them to carnivals. They go, they go to a carnival, but they go like late. They go when nobody did like a special day. They go to a carnival when nobody did or early hours. They go to a carnival. They go to the circus. They take them to the zoo and they take them to the movies for a whole weekend. They got a weekend retreat. They do this every July, the week, the week after. Um, um, the week at the um, sports critic birthday. So I said, damn. I said, my birthday in July. I said, when is birthday? My birthday July 23rd. He said, Kareem, you wouldn't believe when is sports critic birthday. I said, when? He said, 4th of July. I said, what? Damn, yo, isn't that ironic? That's why he liked to set houses and shit on fire. His birthday the 4th of July. He liked to set shit on fire. He's an arsonist. And all days, since he born 4th of July, I said, Dr. Snot, uh, Slotnick, you lying. He showed me his birth certificate. He born 4th of July. And he's an arsonist. He don't got like like 47 houses under his, burnt houses under his belt. I said, ain't that a bitch? And then he said, Blue Bolt um, birthday is in October. I said, October? I said, don't tell me. He's like, I said, please don't tell me. He said, I said, his birthday, October 31st. He said, yes, his birthday, Halloween. I said, blue bur birthday, Halloween. I said, that's why this, these motherfuckers sick like that. This mother, I said, yo, one birthday, 4th of July, who's arsonist, and one is a, a fucking psychopath birthday on Halloween. I said, I'll be damned. I took my hat and threw it to the floor. He said, he said, yo, man, these are some very dangerous men, man. And don't you know, Blue Bolt and, and uh, Sports Credit, they page can never be monetized because they cannot get paid because all the crimes they committed, they cannot benefit from their uh, crimes. 
They could never be monetized. Them guys could never be monetized. Never. Never, never, never. They could never be monetized. So they can't get paid from it. You know what I mean? They get a check, a monthly check. They get they they live free. They live uh, free. They give them free Wi-Fi so they could get on the internet. They had to get a whole bunch of approved move through state senate to be on the internet. And state senate to be on the internet. They they got ankle monitors. Ankle monitors. You think I'll be talking this shit? Talking my shit if he wasn't? This this blue boat guy? I get any indication he's on his way to New York. <laughs> I get any indication, man, this this man on his way to New York. He better not break his ankle bracelet. And I told Dr. Slotnick, man, make sure he keep that thing on tight. Make sure y'all go there once a week, update them fucking batteries on that shit before he go out and kill and spree. And I, I mean that shit. And let me tell you this, man. And Bang talk shit because he got them two really blue boat. They really run behind blue boat. But he got them two guys with him. So he want to talk shit, but he want to say stats and facts, but don't want to talk about their criminal record. Got two psychotic uh, psychopaths with him. Like, come on, man. Bang, stop it, man. I'm about to end this video, man. Listen, man. At the end of the day, man, I'm not going back and forth with you guys, man. Like I said, I said what I said. He has horrible, Bang have horrible basketball takes, Blue Bolt, and uh, Sports Critic. They always want to call somebody rainbows and things like that, and they suspect. Well, <clears throat> we already know them other two. They just be on the computer all day. And they, oh, and they take them to a strip club, too. And and them guys, when they go to a strip club, they have to be, a woman have to be in a cage. They they, they, they pay the women to, they listen, they told the girl, I ain't going to say who she is. I'm not going to say she is. But they gave her a bag to perform for these guys. And and, and they, she'd be in a cage. And they have agents and stuff around. They don't trust them. They don't trust them. So, um, yeah, I need you guys to like and subscribe. Like I said, um, tomorrow, Kareem and Elder Show, episode 15, will be tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to go out and have some fun. Y'all know what it is. But you know what I mean? Stay safe. You know what I mean? And keep in prayer. You know what I mean? And also, like I said, Bang, listen, man, you're not in my you're not in my league, Bang. You're not on my level, and you're not in my league, man. It's two different leagues here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So, like I said, stay safe, like, subscribe, peace.